Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to have a quick video. Uh, I'm installing a set of fog lights on my Mercedes uh, 300 SD, which by itself wouldn't be video worthy, but um, uh, the factory fogs are eye-wateringly eye expensive. I, I don't own a set. I, it didn't come with a car. So I wanted to put a set of square fogs in there and I found them. Uh, by wa eye-watering expensive, I mean like $800 for a set of fogs. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I kind of realized after I bought the fogs, because the fogs are only like $15, um, these things are about 55 watts a piece, which is nice because they're nice and bright and all that, but um, the alternator is not exactly the strongest thing in the world in this car. So, at 55 watts, uh, I think it's a little too much. Um, the LEDs are about 6 or 7 watts, I believe. Um, they're, they're plenty bright for the looks, mostly, is what I'm going after. I'm not going after for a true fog light. Uh, the car has four headlights, so it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, but these, I actually, I just wanted to give the alternator a break. Uh, these I think were like $13, so less than $30 including the hardware and everything else to amount a uh, set of, uh, I believe these are Blazer brand. Uh, I'll put links to, in the description to all this if you guys want to buy it. Helps the channel out too. Um, but yeah, a couple of dollars worth of hardware and uh, a 3D printed bracket to help me install it. Yes, I could have made the bracket out of uh, a piece of metal. I really didn't feel like it. Uh, designed it very quickly in SketchUp and uh, had the machine spit out a couple of brackets and that was it. These are plenty strong, they're made out of PLA plus. Uh, they should stand up to heat and weather and all that so and they're actually pretty oil resistant as well in a vehicle that's kind of important. So without further ado I'm gonna uh, show you how I assembled the second light and then we're gonna go in and uh, install them on the car. Oh, one of the other things I forgot about was uh, I got crimp connectors for this so I can actually make the installation nice and neat. This is totally optional. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, the headlight comes, the, the fog lights I should say, come in with bullet connectors and uh, the LEDs come with spade connectors. So I just bought some spade connectors just to have them. If needs be I'll just cut off whatever's in the car and I'll, I'll make some new spade connectors for this and call it a day. All right, so without further ado, let's get assembling. So first things first is, uh, this is a 3D printed bracket. This is what these come with. Um, this fits on top and this allows you to adjust a fog light up, up and down. So what I did was I found out what this radius was and I mimicked it on this bracket. So it's all built in. Uh, this is the infill actually pull that out yet um, there we go so now the bolt sits nicely in there and this is the bracket uh, quarter 20 uh, bolts matching lock nuts uh, this I will be lock the the nut once I have this assembled but to do this I actually have to take out the lens which is just as well because I have to um, replace the halogen bulb with a um, lead counterpart oh, this is the halogen the part that just pulls out and there's a screw in the back this both acts as a ground as well as um, holds the H3 bulb in place pull this black wire out H3 bulb slides out and uh, H3 LED bulb goes in but this actually has to be bent back a little bit because the bulb is a little fatter and there's not enough clearance here so a little bit more 
which is fine because the, the housing is actually metal. There we go. The screw will go back in. Now Just remove this bolt here. So you can see there's a slot here with a carriage bolt. Put this over. And let me go get my Loctite. Here. Yeah. Very simple thing to do here. And let's fish this through the grommet. Difficult to do assembly uh, behind the lens. Okay, one more thing. There is a marking here that says top. So that's how these should be oriented. I have the backs. This is the spade connector. I'm just going to mark one as a positive and the other one as a negative. So I'm going to mark the pigtail from the LED as a positive. With, um, with the red shrink wrap. So. slightly longer Mark it with black heat shrink. Take this pin connector, crimp it on. These uh, crappy crimp tools, which is really not that bad, but. Go. 
there we go so now I'm gonna take this off camera and cut the uh, bolt off now it wouldn't be right if I didn't bench test these oh. so let's, let's get this right I don't think these LEDs are polarity sensitive like most bulbs are but I'd like to wire them properly anyway let's see what this looks like it's pretty good plenty bright let's try the other one LED fogs. So now let's go install them on the car. Okay, the fogs are installed. That's what they look like. I think they look kind of nice. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys is uh, the the bolts that I used are 25 millimeters or about an inch long. I used quarter 20 bolts, but you can use metric equivalent. I believe that's a M6 or something along those lines. And uh, I just did a rough alignment on these uh, fogs. Uh, when I installed them, I actually installed them right here in the dark using a headlamp. So, if you like this kind of content, come back because I want to uh, upgrade the headlights on this to from sealed beams to uh, H4 headlights with LED as well. So, please do come back. And as always, all the stuff that I used is in the description. If you guys want to, you know, replicate this on your own. Okay then. Bye.